Okay, so the lap in my valves, and I figured, you know what? A lot of people don't know what that is, or what that even means doing. So, I, uh, I've done these two already, and um, this one. I'm on, I just finished doing this one. What I'll do is I'll, I'll show you. It's basically just smoothing out the valve to the seat. Each valve goes in their its own respective seat. So I will, I'll show you what an unlapped valve seat looks like. Okay, here's an unlapped valve seat. And you can see the seat has all this pitting. And I, I kind of polished it a little with my Dremel, but you're not going to get rid of that the right way unless you lap the valves. You can see the pitting. There's more pitting. And more. That's a lot of pitting. Hopefully I didn't hit that with my... Dremel. Now here is a finished valve seat. No pitting, actually. That, I might actually do that again. I didn't see that. And also you can hear when a valve needs, when a valve's good, it's soft like that. See how it doesn't make any noise? When it's not good, it'll make a grinding noise, like like that, like you're grinding some rocks. And that's how it'll start. And you just keep doing this until it's smooth. I'm gonna finish the rest of these the exhaust ones at least uh, on video. I forgot to also mention you don't just stick the valves in there. You uh you put valve grinding compound onto the valve. And you want to make sure you don't get any on the valve stem or or into the uh, into the hole where the valve stem goes. Okay. And you, sometimes this gives you a problem. This will give you a problem too. You get oil on the top of the valve and this thing won't stick very well. But so you put the valve in like this and then Yeah, it starts getting a little less grindy and just do it a couple seconds and then lift up spread that stuff around the valve compound valve grinding compound spread it my tool slipping getting annoying. Some people do this by putting a vacuum line onto the valve stem on the other side and using a drill. I don't like that because you don't feel, you don't feel the smoothness. I can feel this. it's getting smoother and smoother and you can't hear that smoothness either with the drill going. It's faster, but I like this way better. done with this one. should take more than two minutes for valve, I would say. 
you know, I have to wipe, clean it, and then put more grinding compound on there if there's still pits. I've done a couple, I've done each of these at least twice. One of them I did three times. And I do that one, another one again. And that's it. And you just wipe it off. I'll probably do a time-lapse slow or a time-lapse uh, shot of me doing one of these or something that way you really see up close I don't have the light on in here and that's that next valve So all the valves are done. Each valve only goes in its respected spot. Number one exhaust, number one exhaust, number one intake, number one intake. They're basically married to each other, meaning they're ground into the seat for each valve and they're all just slightly different. So that way you know what you're doing. I make this little chart to help myself. And that's how you lap valves.